In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how you can make your website efficient while still having the best experience for your visitors. Hi, my name is Hanne from Thrive Teams. And when you think about an efficient website, what does that actually mean? It means different things for different visitors. When you think about your first time visitors, what is the one thing you want them to do when they arrive on your website? You want them to subscribe to your newsletter, right? And what about people that are already on your list? What is the one thing you want them to do? You want them to take the next step in your sales funnel. The next step in your sales funnel could mean several things. This could be book an appointment with you, it could be to attend a webinar, or why not buy something from you directly on your website. And how can you make sure that the first time visitor sees an opt-in form and that other visitors get to the next step in your funnel? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Now let's see how this would look like for an interior designer. As a first time visitor, we arrive on the website and are greeted with an opt-in form. When we scroll down on this website, you can see a widget area where we offer again the free guide and a bit lower, when you scroll down and you read the complete article, you can find another opt-in form, which is in this case a two-step opt-in form. When people click on the show me how button, they are greeted again with an opt-in form. This is how the experience would look like for a first time visitor. But as you can see, this is quite aggressive and you don't want your subscribers to see all of this again, right? Let's take a look at how this website looks like for subscribers. When a subscriber arrives, he will not see the light box pop up. And as you can see, the sidebar widget disappeared. And at the end of the blog post, instead of having the two-step opt-in form, he is greeted with a new call to action to book a free call. This is completely different experience for somebody who's already a subscriber from your website and somebody that's completely new. We can really optimize the whole website to be as efficient as possible for each and every visitor and to get the best conversions, depending on what those conversions are. For new visitors, the conversion will be a subscription to the newsletter, but for subscribers, the conversion might be to book a free call with this interior designer. Now, let me show you how this is set up in Thrive Leads. I'm now connected to the Thrive Leads dashboard and the feature that allows to show different call to actions to subscribers than to non-subscribers is called Smart Links. With this Smart Link, you will be able to tag people that are already subscribers. In your newsletter, you are going to use this link instead of having a normal link. Let me show you, it's very easy to set up. So first of all, you're gonna decide where you want to send your visitors to. For your newsletter, this probably will be a blog post. And now you start typing for the title of your blog post and you can see that here, optimize your workspace for maximum productivity. Now, next, I will decide if I want to target all the opt-in forms on my website or only a certain lead group. In this case, I can just stay with the target all the forms on my site and here like I said this is where it becomes super powerful you can either hide the forms this means that subscribers will not see opt-in forms anymore or you can display the already subscribed state and that's exactly what I showed you with the post footer where the opt-in form changed for a button with book a free call on it this is done with an already subscribed state. Don't worry, it's very easy and I'm going to show you exactly how you can set this up. So for now, just remember, we want to show the already subscribed state. Because anyways, if there is no already subscribed state for any given opt-in form, it will just not show. And we want this behavior to last as long as possible. So this gives us a special link. You can copy it and now you're going to give this link to your subscribers. So like I said, the, the easiest way to do this is in your emails. And every time when you send a new newsletter, you will use one of these links. This will help you to have people tagged and they will never see the opt-in forms anymore. This also means, and that's very important to understand, that when somebody visits your website, when they have clicked with their cell phone, they will be tagged also on their cell phone. So now that you understand how you can create the smart links, let's see how you can make this already subscribed form. 
To change the call to action for certain forms on your website, you will choose which one you want to have an already subscribed form for. For example, what I showed you with the light box not showing up, so I just didn't create an already subscribed form. And for the post footer, I created the already subscribed form. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So here in the post footer, I can click on edit and edit the design. This is a Drive Leads interface you're probably already familiar with. And as you can see, we have three different states. So if you don't see this menu, it's probably hidden like this. So simply click on the arrows and then you can see the different states. If you start with a one step opt in form, you will only have the default state. In this case, I have a default state. I have a first state because this is a two step opt in form. So from the default state with the button, the button is linked to the state one. And so this shows the opt in form. So that's what you've seen on the website. And as you can see here, I have a third state that's called an already subscribed state. And so this is my new form without an opt-in with only a call to action to book a free consultation call. To change up the example a little bit, I will show you how you can do this with a ribbon because this is not limited to a specific type of opt-in form. As I showed you, the widget was not showing anymore, the light box was not showing anymore, and the post footer had an already subscribed state. But this was just an example. You can really do this with any type of opt-in form you like. Let me show you how this is done with the ribbon. We're gonna create a new form and edit the design. From here, I can choose one of the templates, either from the opt-in templates or from the Thrive Templates Cloud. And let me show you how we could do this with the multi-step ribbon. As you can see again here, you can see the default state, which is the ribbon. And then we have a light box because actually this ribbon, when you click on it, it's like I said, a two-step ribbon. So when you click on get started, you will be shown with this light box. And now if I want to make sure that my subscribers see something differently because they do not want to opt in again in the States menu, I click on plus add and I choose for an already subscribed state. And now here, instead of having the get started button linked to the light box, I can change this up completely. I could, for example, create a button with a special promotion for members, and then I would link this button to the sales page. So in link settings, I can say get it now. And here I will put the URL of the sales page. So what will happen now? First time we'll see this opt-in form. So the free site launch promotion package gets started. And when they click on it, they are presented with this light box. But when somebody arrives, and is already a subscriber, they will be presented with the already subscribed state and will see the special promotion for members. And when they click on the get now button, they will go to a sales page. I really hope you like this tutorial and that you see how powerful it is to have a different message for first time visitors than for subscribers. And if you have any questions, you can leave them below this video.